welcome to the fourth and final hour of this show. And uh, this hour, we of course, we'll be having a very interesting conversation about road safety later on, uh, so do stand by for that. Before that, we'll be linking up with quite a number of our correspondents across the country just to get a feel of what's happening uh, around the country and as far as news is concerned. In Nairobi, of course, the focus will be at the courts where we do expect... Uh, uh, quite a number of people to be arraigned, including journalist uh, Jackie Maribe, uh, in relation to uh, the ongoing murder probe of Monica Kimani. Let's now start off in Eldoret. John Wanyama, our reporter there. Very good morning, John. Uh, we do understand there's a possible protest by university of, uh, uh, by, the, by more university students uh, about the delay in HELB loans, disbursement. Uh, what exactly is this? <laughs> Thank you very much in Dimuli and a very good morning back to you there in studio. And today in Eldoret town, we, as you can see behind me are more university students. Today they are planning a mega demonstration in Eldoret town streets. And they are complaining about uh, a help loan that have not been dispersed to their accounts. And they are saying they are not really working or they are not uh, working on whatever they are supposed to do. Because most of them, they depend on this particular loan so that they can continue or pay their school fees. But for now, they are saying it has taken long for this disbursement into their respective accounts. Without wasting time, let me just hear from them, starting with you. <coughs> what is the issue and why are you demonstrating today? Thank you very much. My name is Leonard Mattioli, the uh, Academics Director of Moe University at Lotus West Campus. Uh, the reason as to why we are in town today is simply to advocate for the rights and uh, the privileges of the comrades at, uh, at the moment. Right now you find that comrades are really suffering and in terms of uh, raising their fees, it has been a challenge to them. You find that it's at the moment, majority of them are completing, or rather they are winding up their, their, their period, their 844 system. Rather, they were expecting the help loan to assist them in covering their school fees. But at the moment, since they had applied for it in January, up to now, they have not received even a confirmation message indicating that they have been awarded a certain amount. Right now, last semester, a number of them were completing their fourth year, but the, the majority were receiving messages to pay back the help loan. Where are we heading? as an institution, whereby you cannot also be allowed to sit for an exam, yet you have not completed fees. So we are urging the government through the Ministry of Education, Madam Amina Mohammed, kindly intervene this session and assist the university students. Okay. Yeah. For how long have you not maybe gotten this money from help? It is now uh, 10 months down the line. Majority of the people who had applied even last year, December, majority also applied in January this year. But uh, up to now, some of them they are expecting to begin their final exam. They have not yet received any cash and they are expecting to utilize the, the amount. What is, is this the same thing to you today? Okay, so to go up because I'm going to go to the next one. 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 Help. Na bado hawaja maliza tashule, hawaja kamilisha. Sasa sote tuko wapa tueleze waziri, Amina Mohamed, haweze kutusaidia katika ili suala la help. Yeah. Mengine pia leo tunasikia kwamba mna, mna andamana, you are demonstrating today. Yeah. Na eleo ya kiswaili si mdo mocha ako. <laughs> okay, fine. We are demonstrating against the apathetic behavior of the government uh, in respect to the fact that we cannot receive help even after applying, even after getting messages that really we should be getting help. As we speak, uh, uh, the institution that is more university is uh, in a state of, uh, uh, a state of confusion, a state of economic discombobulation because we have not received help. And remember, uh, this is the help that we use in paying school fee the help that is used to put food on the table. As we speak, things are not in the right state. We are in a state whereby you can do what is not in tandem with the interest of the law of this country. So we are asking the minister in charge of education. We are asking Rengera that uh, we really need help. And I can tell you for a fact that uh, if you check some of us, of course some of us, we received messages two months ago that the help will be disbursed. The messages are still in our phones, but help has not been received. So we are wondering what is really happening. To stop this obnoxiousness, we really need the government to come in and give us money. But then, this is just the beginning. We are asking them to give us money within 24 hours. Failure to which we are going to stop everything stoppable 
until we get help. We cannot beg for our, our right. Help is a comrade salary. And I, can, I want to speak again on behalf of, of comrades in this country. I'm the Secretary General of Kenya University Student Organization. Each and every campus is entitled to help loan. So that if we are not going to get help in this country, then we are going to ensure that that which is making the government happy is going to make them sad. Thank you very much, my friend. Maybe the last person here in the morning. Okay. Any, all that I can say is that we need that money. We as comrades are entitled to get help. Since first year, we've been, we've been getting it in time. Why is it that today, why is it by, that this semester we are not getting it in time? It's almost... We've gone for a month since we opened schools. Comrades, some of us are still home. They have not gotten help. They don't have even transport to come back to school. They don't have pocket money. They don't have houses to let. So please, we are not begging, in fact. We want that money within 24 hours or else we shall act. Being that comrades' power is next after the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Ria. 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 Thank you so much. In the morning, those are reactions from these uh, students from Moi University, and they are only uh, requesting the government that they should give them this money because most of their businesses or whatever they should be doing in their respective courses or uh, uh, universities, they are not going on with them, and they really want this money as yesterday. From Wasingeshu, back to the studio in the morning. Yes, uh, as I promised earlier, uh, let me thank uh, John first. Uh, John Wanyama, thank you so much for that report. Uh, and of course, we'll be coming uh, to you back later to uh, see if at all that protest by university students will definitely go on. University students there protesting a delay in disbursement of health funds.